Here we are again on the set of the Gilmore Girls in Hollywood. We're now joined by two of Rory's best buddies on the show. Keiko Agena, who fills the role of Lane, and Liza Weil, who plays Paris. Keiko, what would you say it is about the Gilmore Girls that has so many fans hooked on the show? Well, I think... Uh, I think part of it is the fact that we have uh, such an odd group of characters. I love it. Mm -hmm. I, lo I, I love the oddness and the quirkiness and the fact that there's a lot of chemistry between the actors and, and the characters. Well, what's it like working with Alexis? I mean, do you two hang out on your off time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any off time. Yeah, they're here so she much. She cooks me yeah. fish once. Like, yeah. Yeah. One yeah. I've been to your house one time. I helped yeah. you move something, or That's you helped true. me move something. She gave me a bookcase. Yeah. <laughs> nice. No, nice. it's just we're here so many hours that we don't um, have, a lot. have a lot of time <laughs> off. So if we were to have time off and spend time together, we'd be like together all the time. So that's the only thing. Yeah. Well, the chemistry is really interesting. How do you think that works between the two of you? I think Lane and Rory got along because they're both kind of single children and sort of observers, I think, in the world. Mm -hmm. You know, they were always sort of on the outside. Mm -hmm. But I think Lane also liked the package deal. Cause she, mm -hmm. got, she got, like, Rory is a best friend. She got this great mom who kind of let her eat pizza and mm -hmm. just be normal. <laughs> well, yeah. Most of the time on the show, you two are in sync, but sometimes the relationship is not working. Your mom let me spend the night here. I tried calling you back all night, but the phones didn't turn back on until this morning. It's okay, I understand. Lane, I'm so sorry. I've been the worst friend lately. No, I just wigged out a little. I get jealous sometimes. I mean, you seem to have this really great life going, and I don't really fit in there. That's not true. You totally fit in. Yeah? I'm talking Legos. I hope so. I will be better from now on, I promise. 24 hours a day at your disposal. Dean will love that. Well, he'll have to. You came first. That's right. I got dibs. Oh, Aww. that's a touching scene. It's neat. <laughs> Eliza, so Paris on the show, she's very pushy, ambitious, I mean, very, very different than Rory's character. Tell me a little bit about that relationship. Well, I think in the beginning, um, Paris just kind of really blindly hated Rory. I guess, you know, Paris is very dri driven and academic, and I think that it was just a real threat for Paris. It's a very strange relationship, you know, because we'll have, like, these great times, and Rory has always been, like, a really great friend to Paris, and then Paris will just really just kind of <laughs> throw, throw a wrench in, in, you know, in the wheel. And I guess over the years, there was a lot of kind of friction and competition, and I think Paris was kind of a huge kind of influence of, of challenging Rory all the time mm -hmm. academically. They were kind of very big competitors. And, and I think that's, I guess, the reason that they kind of stayed in each other's life as well, is they kind of really like that 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 challenge all the time, I guess. They're really competitive, both of them. Yeah. Think. They're always at each other. Mm -hmm. When you apply to an Ivy League school, you need more than good grades and test scores to get you in. Every person who applies to Harvard has a perfect GPA and great test scores. It's the extras that put you over the top. The clubs, charities, volunteering, you know. Oh, yeah, I know. I started volunteering in fourth grade. I handed out cookies to the local children's hospital. By 10, I was leading my first study group. The youngest person in the group was 12. Wow. I've been a camp counselor. I organized a senior literacy program. I worked a suicide hotline. I manned a runaway center. I've adopted dolphins, taught sign language, trained seeing eye dogs. But when did you have time to have a life? I'll have a life after I graduate from Harvard. Now, if you'll excuse me, the drainage on the south side of this place sucks. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's talk about Dean. I mean, Alexis, was Dean the one for Rory? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it was, Dean was like her first boyfriend, and, um, yeah. And those never work out. It does, those never, <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. I mean, it could work out, but you know. Not, not in this case, really. Tell us about the first kiss. No, no, was that your first on-screen kiss ever? Yeah. Okay, so that had to be a little bit scary. Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Tell no. us about that. Did you have to rehearse that kiss over and over again? No. Well, when you shoot it, it's so technical that you just like, you know, that's it has to do with lights and. And he's so tall. And he's so tall. You're just like standing on things to. Yeah. Me. <laughs> kind of come to you. Yeah, it's awkward. <laughs> Lauren, did you have to give her advice on how to like set up first? Oh yeah, I totally <laughs> helped her out. <laughs> it was embarrassing, really. Yeah. All right. Guess what's in each hand? You get the soda. Okay, the whole concept of a free soda is that it's free. You don't have to work for it. 
Sorry, you gotta sing for your supper. Or your soda. Guess. Okay. In this hand, you have. Thank you. Oh. But there was clearly magic there. <laughs> oh, I don't know. For us, for us watching. <laughs> no, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's it was a, a really sweet scene. Mm -hmm. It was such a yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Thank you both for being here. When we come back, we'll be joined by some of the wonderfully odd characters that make their home in Stars Hollow. Don't go away.